So the concept of culture relates to identity, how we look at ourselves, um, time, linear, um, or circular. Um, sometimes it's culture in our workplace. Some of our workplaces time is strictly adhered to. Some others it's more circular. Um, it can be broad, so meaning culture can relate to broad concepts like race, gender, religion, uh, nationality, um, sexual orientation, etc. Um, or it can be deep, where we're now going below the surface and looking at um, things like, you know, um, okay, so I might be a woman of color, but now let me look at what does that mean um, for my, um, my Lisa's racial identity, right? As opposed to, you know, how the world might be, world might be viewing me. Or even how people of your same, of your same, your same culture and your same, mm -hmm. you know, ethnic group would would value and see you as different because you're lighter skin than mm -hmm. them or darker skin or right. you know the same. same thing. Exactly, and the concept you're referring to, um, we talk about as colorism, right? Where we have within racial groups that kind of um, different treatment, mm -hmm. either treating somebody better or worse, whether they're light skin. Uh, or dark skinned, right? Or considering them, oh, you're you're a pretty boy or girl, or mm -hmm. you know things like that, or a, right, you know somebody who or has. Or if you have hair or not. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. I mean, and our cult and they look. I've had people say, oh, well, you shaved your head. Well, no, I'm going through chemo, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it, it's. I find going through the store, people look at you really weird, or right. you know, they why don't you wear a wig? Well, I don't want to wear a wig. <laughs> right, because it doesn't fit their <clears throat> cultural expectation exactly. of what exactly. women should look like, and so we get kind of this pushback, um, and to recognize it, right, that people yeah. are used to categorizing people. So women need to have hair, hair. and they need to have well, a certain I, length of hair, and it can't be I was in Home Depot hair. the other day, and mm -hmm. some guy walked past me and goes, excuse me, sir. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. My so, husband just kind of looked at it. Like, uh huh. Oh, yeah. Really? And parts of it are you are you not perceptive, right? right. That there are things that we miss mm -hmm. because we are looking at things through our cultural lens, which is limiting. Mm -hmm. um, and it can be expensive, right? It can bring us things that are rich and vibrant, but it can also limit us from seeing other people, other perspectives. So culture shapes attitudes about a lot of these things, right? Punctuality, child rearing, dress, <laughs> education, discipline, um, authority figures, um, and we also have domestic violence. Sometimes cultural attitudes shape around, you know, what's acceptable or tolerated, etc. So if I'm looking at people through my cultural lens um, of fashion, let's just say. Um, and so I'm, I'm judging other people based upon the ties that they choose to wear. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and if I am, you know, biased against people who are wearing the Christmas ties, um, that will then cloud my interactions, right? Because I, but it's another thing to say, okay, you know, I'm biased against people who are wearing ties with Christmas trees on them. I need to really adjust myself so that it doesn't come out against Michelle in a biased attitude, <laughs> which I think it's very harsh. Right? <laughs> I was thinking of obesity, how people have yes. perceptions about obese people, that they're lazy or... Right, mm -hmm. right. So we're a very body conscious society, and we have a lot of judgment attached to size, right? And so that comes out, and the, f the fact there was, um, there, there are studies that say that people who are overweight tend to not be the ones to get the jobs than slimmer people, right? Um, in, including, um, there are studies that talk about people who wear glasses are perceived to be smarter than people who aren't, right? And that can have nothing to do with nothing, either way, but it's to how our cultural lenses, and I know you're very smart people with glasses on, um, but just that, just those little things are, Continually, someone is processing that information and making decisions around, around that. So culture shapes behavior, our communication style, our interactions with others, 
and our decision-making paradigms.